In news, my lovely, wonderful people, not be smarty the apple so. Now your brother, my brother, our brother, Governor Godwin Obasekio, he don't plan to demolish markets for Edo State. So the women are they call cry go meet Oba. Say Oba o Oba, Oba o Oba. You have to come to our aid. You have to come to our aid. You have to come and help us because uh, the Governor Godwin Obaseki they plan to demolish our market. Now, I don't think there is a problem with demolishing, uh, you know, a market and all that and putting things in place. But where the issue is, is proper communication, making provision for these persons so that within that period of transition, yes, to when you they will be able to, you know, where will they stay? Remember that this is their livelihood. This is what they do. So when you are demolishing that market, what's the plan? What's, what's the other alternative? What will they, where will they be? And for how long? Have this meeting with the executive and let them communicate the matter down. I don't think you will have so much of a problem. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. A door market demolition. Traders seek over intervention, cries to him. Traders are the popular or say market, otherwise known as a key sir market have appealed to the royal to his royal highness the oba of benin to prevail on the state government governor godwin obaseki led administration to halt the planned demolition of the market this is coming on the heels of a two-week automaton that has been given to the handed down to the traders at the oba market and Ose market both in benin city to take shelter in other markets for their trading activities with no specification on how long this activity will take place, what are the plans and what is going on. No information whatsoever. The ultimatum was issued by the government through the leader of the Edo State Market Women Association, Madam Becky Omoroge, pending when the markets are refurbished. No other definition. Blessing away, the spokesperson of the traders who staged a peaceful protest to the Oba Palace in Benin City said, The government's plan to demolish Osei Market will send traders into indebtedness and penury, having obtained loan facilities to reconstruct and to help with their market after the COVID. When government, interve when government intervene, intervention was not forthcoming, the fire disaster that engulfed the market on December 19, 2019, and then the and then the COVID. The people have been suffering. She appealed to Oba to request the state government to provide permanent fencing gates and stay and stand by fire service station in the market, alternative to the planned demolition, which will help the people. The spokesperson also appealed to the OBA to send a delegation of chiefs to the market for an on-site assessment of the market in order not to leave anyone in doubt that what they are doing, the government just wants to use it to carry out a project, but that's not really what is going on. We cried to the palace for help as our last resort. When a fire, when a fire info occurred in the market in 2019, we lost our shops, our goods. Less than four years, they want to demolish the market again after we have borrowed money and everything. This is not right. This is not good. Please intervene. You can understand the plea of the people. 2019, that happened to them. And then there was COVID and you don't know what happened. Some lost their jobs, their businesses. Some are indebted as we speak. And all of a sudden, you say you are carrying out, you know, the, you are carrying out a, a refurbishment. And you are giving them a two weeks notice. Between me and you, be honest to be very honest, not lie you. May your may your mind be clear because God is see, even if I know the same. Is that right? Is it correct? Because in Nigeria, we not get law where we they follow. Everybody na the law. You can't just wake up one morning. From this market, nice some women, they take your full family, both husband and children. Because not because the man don't work, say lazy you. No work. And children must go to school, they must eat. So not get their own house, they go pay us rent. You can't want, you won't start project where we say not get definition. So okay, now nine months, they go look at, okay, two months, don't come on, remain four months. 
you want to start a project, you want to refurbish the market, good idea, no doubt. We're very happy about it. But what are you doing to elevate the suffering of the people, if not increase it the more? Because let's call it, we must be honest. Eh? Governor Gordon Obaseki, do you, do you think this true? The committee that is feeding you with information, have you asked them very serious questions? Have you looked upon it? Have you, are, you, are, you, are you assured that you want to lead the people and so you want to help them, you know, why you want to make the market a better place for them? This is what you also intend to do and this is what you have provided. We must be careful, like seriously very careful. We can't treat people anyhow because we are in position. If we will not get anybody, get God. You not get anybody, but you get God. So let's be careful how we treat people. These are market women. Some of them, now they be mama and papa. Some of them are widows. Some of them self are widowers. Some of them, now they be breadwinners, not only for themselves, but for full family. So why would they do this kind of thing now? Good idea, fantastic. Obaseki, well done for even thinking about it, to refurbish the market, to make it a better place. But what alternative have you made for these people so that they don't feel the heat and the bones? Because this is their source of livelihood. Why they are suffering, you are receiving your salary. What have you put in place? So at least people did not feel the impact of what is about to happen. Because you must cushion them, you see. We are all human beings. And we must think about the other person. Not be only you be human being. Other people too are human beings. The way they're born, you know, so they born them. If people with different hospitals, but not the same way. Not the same way. Not the same way. You see now? Not the same way. So it is what it is, so my lovely, wonderful people. Waiting the governor of Edo State want to now go thing. But the, but the preparation around it is not, is not, uh, it's not uh, appropriate. It's not uh, commensurate to ensuring that the people, you know, are elevated from suffering. Yes, you want to, are you sure that you are not now doing worse by doing what you're doing? Are you ensuring that you are doing things correctly and right? That's what should happen. You should do things decently and in order and not make the people more in a, you know, in a more terrible position. You must do things properly, decently and in order. So those are some of the things that are happening and we all should properly look upon and be sure that we are doing the right thing. Yes, it is what it is. It is what it is. So let's not, uh, let's not pretend that all is well when we know truly well that all is not well. Yes, let's, let's not pretend. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Bye for now. Bye-bye.